Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing this look that you see here and it's featuring this really nice and fun bronze glitter lip. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see how I got this look right here, then stay tuned. Alright guys, to start off with this look, I'm going to begin by moisturizing my lips with the EOS Lip Balm. Then I'm going to take this Becca Ever Matte Primer and I'm just going to press this into my skin because this primer is very heavy duty and it's going to keep me matte throughout the day. Taking this color correcting quad from BH Cosmetics, I'm going to use the orange color and I'm just going to press this on top of my dark spots just to cancel out the pigmentation so that it doesn't show through my foundation. Now that I got that laid down, I'm going to set this in place with the air spun powder just so that this orange corrector does not move. And while doing that, I also realized that I wanted to go in with the brown shade from the quad. And I'm just going to press that on top of the orange shade. But um, this doesn't quite match my skin tone as much as I thought it would. Because in the pan, it looked more like my skin tone. But on my face, it didn't. But I'm still going to work with it. I'm still going to move on. And I'm going to do my foundation now with the MAC Studio Fix um, Fluid Foundation. And this is in the shade NC50. I'm just going to pat this into my skin. We're not going to swipe this on the skin because we don't want to have any brush streaks in the foundation. We're just going to pat, pat, pat all over our face so we can get a nice, even, full coverage look. Another important tip is that you make sure that you have this very well blended. Take your time. You don't want to see a harsh demarcation between your jawline and your neck or your hairline and your forehead. To begin with the eyebrows or to start with the eyebrows I should say, I'm going to brush them up and then I'm going to take my dip brow in the shade dark brown. I'm going to start by tracing the bottom out with some very light strokes and then I'm going to also trace the top out also doing the same thing with the remainder of the product I'm just going to fill in the rest of my eyebrow and I'm also going to create some hair like strokes in the front of the brow to give it a more natural look to finish up my brow I'm gonna brush through it and I'm also going to conceal it just to give it more of a highlighted appearance. You do not have to do this if you do not like how it looks. However, I would recommend doing this with a concealer that is two shades lighter than your foundation just to give your eyebrow a more sharp appearance. You're also going to drag the concealer down and blend it out. And we're also going to prime the eyelid using this Paint Pot by MAC, spreading a thin layer all over the eyelid from inner corner to the outer corner. Taking the shades Pumpkin Pie and Oktoberfest, I'm going to set my brow bone. But I'm so sorry, you guys. I lost the footage of me warming up my crease with my first transition color. So you're going to take the shade Oktoberfest and you're going to put that in your crease. And then you're going to go in with this green shade that you see me working with right here. It's called Olive Wood and it's also from Coastal Scents. And you're going to put that slightly below the other transitional color. Now, I hope that makes sense. Moving right along, I'm going to take this black shade from the same palette. It's called Incognito, and I'm putting this directly in my outer V using circular motions to sweep it upward into my crease as you see me doing here right now. Taking a round blending brush, we're just going to blend out the edges, and this is the look that you should have right here. We're going to clean up the lid area with some more of that MAC paint pot, I'm using an angle brush to do this so I can have some more control over the product. And we're just going to create a space to put our eyeshadows on the lid without disturbing the transitional colors. 
going in with sumptuous olive from Mac I'm just going to place this on the lid and I'm not going all the way inside of the lid so I'm not taking it all the way into the inner corner I'm leaving some space there and I'm just going to pat this onto the lid until I get all the pigmentation that I want and the color is very rich going in with another shade called ambering lights and this is also by Mac I'm gonna put this inside the inner corner where I just left blank so this will act as the inner corner highlight so giving the green and the gold shades a really nice contrast to make some more or to add some more depth I'm going in with the black shade and that's called incognito and I'm just going to carve out that space right above the lid and I'm gonna blend it out with this brush going back with my MAC concealer I'm going to start highlighting and contouring I'm taking this down the sides of my nose and I'm also going to take this under my eyes right now I'm just making a crisp line at the outer V or the outer corner edge and I'm going to put the concealer under my eyes and right now I'm just doing this on both sides I put some concealer on my chin my forehead and down my nose you guys know this routine this is more for people who want a heavier uh, well I shouldn't say heavy but this is for people who are more comfortable in a very full coverage look they want full coverage glam like this is for my girls who want to slay everybody at Thanksgiving table okay so if you put this concealer on first and then you go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer on top, yes, you will be slaying everyone's life. I'm telling you. I know this might be a lot for some of you guys, but you do not have to do this step. I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro Concealers. I use Fawn to highlight further, and I'm using, I think, Dark Cocoa to contour. And I'm just going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender. It is damp. Make sure it's damp. And I'm also going to set it with my airspun powder. Make sure you got no creases, girl. I'm telling you, you don't want no creases, okay? So you're going to make this face, and we're going to be creaseless, okay? And we're going to also blend out the contour with a brush. This is the same brush that I use for my foundation. That way, it still has a leftover foundation to blend out the contour very smoothly. Now, I do not like to just bake, or I don't just like to set with one powder, I find that setting it with the um, loose translucent powder first and then going over with a more yellow tone powder is better for me because I have a yellow undertone and I am a melanated girl okay if you feel comfortable or you like just to go in with your loose translucent and you're fine with that go ahead do whatever you feel is right for you there is no rules to makeup, okay? So now I'm just going to take my bronzer. This is the CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. This is my holy grail. And I'm also going to contour with this contour kit by City Colors. I'm taking the darkest color and I'm putting that in the hollows of my cheeks. If you don't know where to find the hollows, just make a kissy face or a fish face, I should say, and just put it right there in those indentations. To give my lower lash line some more depth, I'm going to use this brown liner. And this is from Wet n Wild. I'm going to take some more of that green and black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Sort of connecting it with the top, but not quite. For lashes today, I'm going to use these Cara lashes. And this is in the number 523. If you missed out on my haul, don't forget to check it out after this where I haul all of the lashes that I bought from Shop Miss a.com now this is the star of this show okay so right now we're going to start with the lips and I'm taking the ColourPop ultra matte lipstick in the shade limbo I'm just using this because I need a base for my glitter I don't want my glitter to look look, look patchy so I'm using this first it dries really quick I really like this color so I'm putting this down first and I'm waiting for it to dry once I dry, I'm going to take this beautiful glitter from Violet Boss. It's in the shade or the color Copper Teeny. And I'm going to use some eyelash glue and a synthetic angle brush. Do not use a brush for this step that you love. Use a brush 
that you don't care much for because it has the chance to be destroyed. Make sure it's also synthetic hair. Okay, so you're going to put the eyelash glue first and you're basically going to trace out wherever you want to place the eyelash glue and then you're going to take your opposite brush or take another brush, dip it into the glitter and then press it on top of the eyelash glue. This is a very good way for the eyelash glue to adhere. I'm sure you can use other methods like mixing medium or you can use some type of lip gloss to stick it but from my experience this is what works I did wear this look out I drank I ate I drank with a straw I ate non greasy stuff but it stayed on all day until my lips you know got dry and I was like I'm ready to take this off but this stayed in place so again you're gonna see me repeating these steps I'm going in with my glue, then with my glitter. Glue, glitter, glue, glitter until my whole lip is covered. Time to add the glow. You guys already know we're going to put this on top of the cheekbones and everywhere else. And that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next one.